The space between the stars called interstellar space isn't just empty space. It's filled with vast quantities of neutrinos, charged particles, atoms, molecules, dark matter, and photons. However, this matter is very thinly dispersed throughout interstellar space, with some areas being denser than others. These denser regions, known as molecular clouds, are often referred to as stellar nurseries because they are where stars are born. But do you know from where this interstellar space begins? According to astrophysicists, the heliopause marks this boundary, a place where the sun's magnetic field and particle flow no longer have an impact on space. This also signifies the end of the sun's personal bubble, referred to as the heliosphere. Think of it like a windstorm, but instead of leaves and branches, it's sending out particles and a magnetic field. This solar wind pushes against anything that's not part of our solar system, like particles from other stars. Inside the heliosphere, the solar particles are hot but less concentrated. But once you arrive in interstellar space, the solar particles would be much colder and more concentrated. There would also be a magnetic field that does not originate from our sun. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 flew beyond the heliopause and entered interstellar space, making it the first human-made object to do so. At the time, it was at a distance of about 122 AU, or about 11 billion miles from the Sun. Six years later, its twin, Voyager 2, entered interstellar space on November 5, 2018, and becomes the second spacecraft to made into the interstellar space. As Voyager made its way across the heliopause into the interstellar space, it detected significant changes in the plasma environment. The spacecraft observed a decrease in solar wind particles and an increase in the number of galactic cosmic rays originating outside the heliosphere. The temperature inside the interstellar space varies depending on the local environment. There's hot gas present everywhere with temperatures of millions of degrees, but because this gas is so sparse, it would not feel that hot if you were inside it. At the other end of the scale, clumps of molecular hydrogen gas can barely get 10 degrees above absolute zero. The interstellar space is a bustling hub of activity, with much still left to explore and discover.